A Holocaust hero dubbed the British Oscar Schindler has died in England at the age of 106. Sir Nicholas Winton was knighted for almost single-handedly saving more than 600 Jewish children from the Holocaust. The former stockbroker arranged for trains to carry the children out of occupied Prague to British homes, fearing they'd be sent to concentration camps. He was awarded the Czech Republic's highest honour last year, watched by some of those that he helped save from almost certain death. I thank the British people for making room for them, to accept them, and of course for the enormous help given by so many of the Czechs. The very modest hero kept quiet about his brave exploits for half a century until his wife found a scrapbook in their loft. Well, to tell us more about Sir Winton's work, which was part of a much broader operation called Kinder Transport, which saved nearly 10,000 children in the lead-up to World War II, is Janet Merker, the Vice President of Kinder Transport. Janet, thanks uh, very much for joining us. Now, uh, we've heard just there about how secret he was, Sir Winton was, for so many years about what he had done. Do you think that was why his story resonated so much? He was a, a very modest person um, throughout his life. He even thought what he did was not remarkable. And I think to people with compassion, they, this sort of story resonates with them. Tell us a little bit about his legacy and what he actually did. And of course, as I mentioned, it was part of a broader campaign. His, his legacy was that he saved not only 669 children, most of them were Jewish, but not all were Jewish. But it's the estimated, in the kinder transport, we estimate 70,000 people are alive today because of the kinder transport. Had nothing happened, then those people, including myself, would not be, not be here. But as well, it was a large humanitarian act done before World War II to save Jewish children. And was it his idea or were there many people doing similar things around Europe? There were many people doing things in Vienna, in Germany, but the great force also came from the British people themselves. They wanted to help these children. And he was the pivotal part of the Czech rescue he had workers in Czechoslovakia as well as, as Britain helping to find foster families to raise 50 pounds to uh, secure these children a visa and so on and so on. The YMCA were involved, the Quakers, the Christians, uh, many members of British Parliament as well of course uh, many Jewish organisations. So it was a very big, big concern. You mentioned your personal connection that you yourself would not have been here if it had not been for Kinder Transport. Tell us about your personal uh, connections. My mother left sometime between December and March 1939 on a Kinder Transport and she made a new life for herself in England. She was fostered by a priest and his family, raised by them and she owes her life to them. But only as recently as two months ago, my auntie on my father's side also told me she was on a kinder transport and she got off in Holland. Most of the children who got off in Holland perished, we think. Somehow she was survived and was eventually taken to Paris where she was hidden. So I have two members of my family that were involved in the kinder transport scheme. What does it do to continue the legacy now in 2015? It needs to remind the world that children should not be a part of war. And even Nicholas Winton wore every day a bracelet which some of the kinder gave him. And I think we need to remember those words and live by those words. And that is, 
To save one child, you save the world. Which is, uh, resonates so strongly when we look at some of these terrible tragedies happening around the world today involving young children. That's right. They are not at fault and they should um, have the freedom to live their lives as fully as my mother did. She lived her life in a land of freedom and she owes her life to the British people that took her in. Well, we thank you for sharing part of your story and uh, Sir Winton's legacy with us tonight. Thanks for your time, Janet. Thanks very much.